My name is Peter Brooker and I would like to show you a few features and advantages of spider control. I would be happy if you had a few minutes for me. Spider control. This is not just a web HMI. This is a complete concept for browser-based management, browser-based operation and browser-based programming. I tried to show the different aspects using this mind map and I would like to step through now to this graphic. The first thing we look at is the design flow. Spider control is all about efficiency. Have less effort and more effect. The first step in this direction is that we have one tool which calls as many platforms as possible. Spider control can first of all create web HMIs for embedded web servers of PLCs. So we have a tool for uh, Siemens, uh, for Saya, for Beckhoff, for Vago, etc. And we can cover a really large uh, palette of different target systems. This goes on. We can use the same tool uh, to also design SCADA systems. So we have a SCADA server on the PC which collects data from several PLCs and what's uh, special about it is that uh, the SCADA server can be made available on almost any operating system. It's uh, on Windows, Android, embedded Linux etc. and we have ported it to many different hardware platforms. PLCs, embedded systems, Android, panels so you can have a, a light sys uh, uh, SCADA system on almost any kind of hardware that you could imagine. So this uh, scalability uh, gives us the possibility to have a small SCADA systems on panels, on systems that run um, in the cabinet and we can make big systems that run um, on large PCs. Another aspect is uh, the import. Import of existing uh, web HMIs, uh, which is a, a unique feature to spider control. So we can not only import spider control HMIs, which were made by uh, PLC OEM products, but we can also import Codices web videos uh, and we can reuse um, elements from these projects and uh, create our um, SCADA using existing components from, from PLCs. Another aspect is harvesting. I can not only import the HMI elements, but I can also import alarm and trend configurations and add them mostly automatically to my SCADA alarm and trend configuration. Another aspect is our web HMI editor. So we have integrated a browser-based, a simple browser-based web HMI editor which allows us to uh, make simple uh, modifications in a well-defined area. Let's move now to the topic um, design automation. Design automation is about becoming more efficient uh, in designing my projects in reusing uh, existing components. The first step is uh, the use of object-oriented macros. The Spider Control Editor is able to create uh, a macro library. I can add my own uh, configuration dialogues to my own macros and I'm able to only show uh, specific information of my object um, to be configurable in this uh, dialogue. I can also use uh, this tool to design these dialogues. So um, the tool is able to extend itself by these means. And the next step is uh, I not only making macro dialogues to configure uh, simple uh, variables, 
but we are also able to um, filter out um, elements of uh, structures. So I'm in a, like that. I'm uh, able to uh, filter out structure instances, and I'm only connecting my macro to one instance of uh, a structure. So this makes it much more efficient to um, connect uh, my HMI objects to the data. Another possibility is uh, the use of templates. Templates means I have um, HMI views which use indexed addressing and I can have them point to uh, data structures which um, are the same but which are in use in many places um, in the PLC program. Uh, like this it is possible to have relatively few views and um, to use them in many different situations and just to by, by modifying, by manipulating the pointer um, where I chose to. Next step is uh, the code generator. This allows me to automatically generate HMIs. I have here an example uh, using an Excel file which uh, will ge automatically generate HMI. Uh, this works like this, that I have uh, the commands in this Excel sheet that will generate um, a new page, will add an object, will modify the object, will reposition the object and will build all um, the HMI in the end automatically. We'll now move over to uh, business logic. So the question here is how can he improve efficiency, power um, of my HMIs by programming my own business logic. So the first thing is we can of course attach all um, the typical uh, drivers to field bus protocols. We are also able to connect to SQL databases and we have furthermore um, our unique component called Spider PLC. So this allows us to, to extend uh, the capability of the data server by adding simple function block logic. So this is an extension of the idea of a SCADA system. So we are not only collecting, visualizing data, we are also connecting functions. So uh, this is one of, of uh, the ideas which is also behind OPC UA, not only to aggregate data, but also to involve function, remote procedure calls. And Spider PLC is able to call, uh, to not only execute internal simple function block, but also to call external functions which might be written in all kind of um, uh, languages like Python, like uh, Node.js, like PHP, um, like .NET, etc. So this brings us a very big flexibility in extending functionality of the data server because this is also a step to create all kind of reports, etc. Uh, the last thing that we can do um, on this level is to add our own DLL to the data server. So this user DLL um, is used typically if uh, we need very uh, tasks which need a very high performance. We're finally moving to the uh, topic uh, user interface efficiency. So user interface uh, is on one hand extendability of HTML5. HTML5 can be extended with external functionality, with external controls. Uh, we have a sample here showing with a camera and a map. And spider control can also be integrated as a component into um, an HTML which is written externally 
and uses the spider control control just as a part of it. The next aspect is the micro browser. Spider control is a micro browser which generates um, generic HTML5 which runs in any browser but additionally we have uh, the possibility to also uh, run our HMIs on our micro browser engine. The micro browser engine um, is uh, an engine which is very efficient and which runs on even very small micro browsers and so this gives us the possibility to use industrial hardware industrial hardware which is robust, which is cost efficient and which is um, in a normal case not able to run HTML5. So in terms of cost efficiency and robustness this is a very important aspect, a very important advantage of spider control. So this is a bit uh, the overview what the capabilities of spider control are. If you need more information or samples, just uh, go to our website. Thank you very much for uh, your attention.